the reason I chose to do the panels the way I did it was because the history of the design is a mirror of the history of colonialism in, in the Northwest Coast. And so I started with that idea of colonization, decolonization, and I sort of looked into the history of uh, design, Northwest Coast design, to see, um, to see sort of uh, to pick points in the history to create this piece, these 11 panels. And so I started with the beginning, uh, pre-contact, and the last one is now where we are now. It looks like we're exactly where we were when we started, but the truth is we've lost a lot of knowledge in between them. And so that's why I, instead of creating a complete panel, I created gaps between each one to show that even though we're moving through this history, that we're losing stuff as we go along, so there's gaps in our history now. I went to Haida Gwaii to uh, learn how to make uh, carving tools, and I met a carver named Christian White there, and his dad and my dad were friends. Like I, I'd never met Christian before, but he knew who I, my dad was, so he invited me to his um, carving shed, and we sat around with all his apprentices and talked, and they, they were talking about the, how they'd just gotten back from New York. They had been there as part of the Haida Repatriation Project, and it just sort of stuck in my head, and I thought, I really want to do something about, with that piece in mind, but I couldn't really think of anything at the time. I thought this idea is like, I want to do something that shows the transition from the museum to Haida Gwaii. And so I got this idea, like, oh, maybe I'll do like bentwood boxes out of plastic or out of acrylic. As far as the figures go, I did 24 male and 24 female figures. So the figures don't so much represent the people they were, but they're, they're the remnants of the person. And that's why there has no eyes, because I had the idea that maybe they're sleeping and that they're dreaming, and they're dreaming of the world outside of where they are. People always want context when they're looking at a piece, um, especially with, like, uh, uh, I'm going to say with uh, Aboriginal art, because people don't want to get it wrong for some reason. They want it, they know what they're looking at, so they can appreciate it as for what it is. And sometimes it's because people are, are, don't want to be, be disrespectful and you know, say, oh that, oh, that looks like a monkey, you know, or something like that. I'm always sort of balancing, like, how much do I want to tell them? Because I really would like people to come in and just, you know, bring their own baggage and appreciate it from their own point of view.